guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Now, for today, I actually got this idea from the channel Drawing with Waffles. She takes these all of her art supplies that are a certain color, and then she makes a beautiful masterpiece out of them. So, being St. Patrick's tomorrow, I thought it'd be fun to take all my green art supplies, which I really didn't have that many, probably because it's not one of my favorite colors. It's just a necessity of color that I need, so I just took, like, some. So I just took the few kind of green supplies that I have and what I did was on Wednesday I encouraged my cartoon art classes that I teach at an after arts, uh, after arts art school, <laughs> after school arts program. Um, I teach a couple of cartoon art classes and I encouraged them to create their own leprechaun and I said to create a leprechaun that wasn't, you know, your typical kind of leprechaun for example lucky from lucky charms you know red hair a uh, tiny small dude that runs around and hides his precious little cereal i mean i encourage them to you know, use the coins and four leaf clovers and green and red hair orange hair whatever it may be that they wanted to use I just said create something of your own whether it's a girl or a boy animal whatever and some of them had some really awesome ideas uh, one of them had an idea to make an old uh, Irish kind of mohawk tattooed leprechaun with a floating awesome eel it, that was his pet and they were both themed leprechaun and he was tall so it wasn't even like a small little leprechaun creature so I actually what you saw was this overhead projector of Fanny my leprechaun I was going to I just drew it up on my little overhead projector and then I said this is my character and what happened was that the light bulb burnt out so I had to carry around the glass part of the projector and show them my idea so I took a picture of it and I thought you know I'm gonna elaborate a little bit more on this character because it's just way too much fun to create my own leprechaun and not like make a little bit more deeper in depth character design to Fanny. I, I wanted I knew for the from the very beginning I wanted to call her Fanny just because it sounded like an Irish name. And so I just wanted her to be made up of clovers and I didn't give her arms in the first sketch. I just gave her like her whole body was completely covered in four leaf clovers and greenery. And that's what I wanted the main thing to be. And I wanted her to have big feet, big ears, long nose, just to look like a woodland creature. Just to kind of celebrate a different approach to leprechauns for St. Patrick's Day. But yeah, I love St. Patrick's Day, and you'll have to let me know if you love St. Patrick's Day too. I know if you don't know what day it is and you get caught not wearing green, it's not such an unfortunate day for the most of us as we forget. So I highly suggest if it, well, at least it's on a Sunday, so you won't be in school. <laughs> Most of you won't be in school. So that's a good plus that you won't be in school. So I encourage you tomorrow for St. Patrick's Day to celebrate in a different way. Grab all your green art supplies and create a leprechaun of your own. Think outside the box. Make a woodland clover creature like I did, Fanny. Or do something crazy. Create an animal. Do something a not typical leprechaun would look like. But yeah, guys, I hope you have a most wonderful St. Patrick's Day. It's perfect that I got to post this picture for St. Patrick's Day. Totally works out. I hope you all have a most wonderful day, and I will see you all later. Bye.